The clutch assembly allows the engine to idle without the saw's chain moving. When the engine speed is increased, the clutch expands and contacts the clutch drum, causing it to rotate. Common problems with the clutch are worn down clutch pads and weak clutch springs. When the clutch is worn, it will slip under load. Worn springs can cause the clutch to never cut out. Replacing the clutch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the bar and chain. Now I'll remove the clutch. To remove the clutch, you'll need a clutch removal tool. The tool has two pins that align with the notches on the clutch body. Then I'll use an impact driver to remove the clutch. And this is a reverse thread. Now I can install the new clutch. I'll tighten the clutch, again using the clutch wrench. And remember, it is a reverse thread. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the bar and chain. Place the bar over the mounting studs, wrap the chain around the sprocket, and into the groove on the bar. And then I'll replace the clutch cover. I'll tighten the nuts, just finger tight. Retention the chain. And then tighten up the nuts. And now you know how to replace the clutch assembly on your chainsaw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.